broke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. On the move. made me your enemy. I'm ready. Spill some blood. Don't linger. The subtle approach. Bleed for me.
an after death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. What's inside? How much further can I go? One sarcophagus. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. 
We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. There are many answers to that question. None are important. Correct. No. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. A matter of coin. Better than I ought to. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. It's so strange. Do you remember the voice from the ship? Yes. Almost like it's whispering to me still. The voice said I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think that means? Adorable, but your timing is awful. Whatever the Mind Flayer's plans were, those dragons spoiled them. That doesn't make our situation less dangerous. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. Sounds like you've been learning all about your gruesome future. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. Naturally. But I was thinking, what if it doesn't? Of course, first sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. A fine choice. I can think of some nightshades that are deliciously fatal. If they're mixed well, you'll just close your eyes and drift away. <laughs> and if they're not, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst case scenario. Obviously. <laughs> oh, my dear. I'd like to see you try. Now, let's get some rest. 
The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. I have something to ask. Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed, yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. What's in here? Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Theramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. Study. But what is happening, or rather not happening to us, is entirely undocumented. Uncharted territory. The silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. <laughs> 